Hello friends, welcome back to Thursday Thoughts with Rito. I'm your host Rito. Hi. <laughs> I hope you're doing well today. Hey, I am going through the book of Mark with a couple of friends of mine, and I'm always struck when I encounter a passage about Jesus, God himself, God the Son, needing to take time to go away to stay connected with his father. But there it is, plain as day. It's in Mark 1, 35. It says, uh, before daybreak, Jesus got up and went out to an isolated place to pray. So there it is. If Jesus needs to do that, <laughs> I probably do too. And Pastor Jay did a fantastic job this week of talking about spiritual disciplines. And it's such an important part of the Christian life that we... We do these things not to earn a spiritual life with God. It's not about us doing the work to get the benefit. It's we do the work of the disciplines to step into the great gift that we have been given. We have been given a spiritual life in Christ. Now it's just ours to step into that, to take hold of it, to appropriate it, incorporate it into our lives. My boy C.S. Lewis may have put it as well as anybody ever has when he says that we have to continually be reminded of what we believe. Neither this belief nor any other belief will automatically remain alive in the mind. It must be fed. I think life is a lot like a treadmill. I think the things that we're pursuing, whether it's physical health, spiritual health and life, quality relationships, whatever those good and important things in life are, it's like a treadmill. If we're not walking toward those things, the treadmill of life is carrying us away from them. There's no such thing as a neutral day, my friends. So I hope you'll keep walking. I hope you'll keep plugging away at those spiritual disciplines to take hold of the life of Christ and bring it closer into your own life. So my friends, this day, may you walk in the light of Jesus and be the light to the world around you.